Choosing a secondary school is really important and uh, choosing St Catharines was also an equally important decision for me as well. What you'll find when you come to St Catharines is a staff that really understand how to treat each child as an individual. You'll also find a wealth of opportunity, whether it's in the formal curriculum through English or maths or science, the performing arts, design and technology, or whether it's through our specialism of catering and hospitality. There's a wealth of opportunity for extracurricular provision. Teachers here really understand about going the extra mile for young people. Whether it's building a galleon that will sail on the Portis Head Regatta, whether it's about a trip being organised to Holland or Spain or Greece as part of our activities week, or whether it's being involved with the restaurant which is opened every Thursday evening to the public. It's an extraordinary school and your child will have an extraordinary experience. Us four came to St Catharines by ourselves. We, like, we were the only people from our primary school and like, we were all really shy to start with so like, it was really hard to make friends and then after a while we all like, made our own groups of friends and, and then it was easier to talk to each other. Hello, I'm Maddie and I'm part of the Year 7 cheerleading team. Hi, my name's Zav and I'm part of the Year 7 rugby team. This year we've won the Team of the Year for Year 7s. This year we've also won the Year 7 Boys Rugby 7s tournament which was held at Cordano Sharks. There were many teams from North Somerset and we beat them all. It was really good, it made us feel really proud. We were all really delighted to find out that we were going to be taking part in the Royal Shakespeare Company project. This was because it was the first Shakespeare project to be filmed with children in it for hundreds of years. We were chosen to do a scene in Romeo and Juliet called Juliet's Farewell and we got loads of time to practice. It was filmed in Broadoak School. We got to then watch ourselves on the big screen at Western Cinema. It was really exciting because we were on a big screen and it was a privilege to be chosen to um, take part. In one of the terms, we went to a place in Cardiff with our maths teachers and classes called Technofest. It's a science museum. Also, in the beginning of the year, we went to a place called Ockham Farm with our tutors. It was really fun because it gave us time to make friends with people that we didn't know. Hi, my name's Tom and uh, I go on the X5 at Shirehampton and um, it's really enjoyable. You get to chat to your mates and uh, the view's really good and um, yeah, it's really enjoyable. Hi, I'm Gabe and I get on the bus uh, from Knoll and the bus journey is really good because I speak to my friends all the time. I'm Kay and when I started on the bus at St Catharines I was like really nervous because I was by myself and then but after a few weeks I like, made lots of new friends on the bus. Bus monitors are a good idea because if people are like being horrible to someone they come down and sort the situation out like they'll take someone to the back and keep an eye on them. We are some of the year sevens who went to Paris and Activities Week. Um, in Paris we went on a boat trip down the River Seine at, in the evening so we could see all the sights of Paris along the river. On the last day as a treat we went to the Park Aspects which is the big theme park. There were lots of big scary rides, it was really fun. I like to get school dinners at St Catherine's School because one, they're very very healthy, two, they're very really really nice and three, they're just delicious and they're quite cheap. Um, and it, early in the year we went to Ockham Farm and we saw where we get all our meat from and that we saw that it was healthy and that it was, it, it was all organic. Um, and also we have a gardens out there um, that um, grow fruit and veg for us to put in our school meals. There's toast in the morning, there's hot chocolate, you can get subs and you can buy things at break. So basically any break time you can buy something. When we have hot meals, there's um, a new thing on the list each day, like spaghetti, curry, cottage pie, shepherd's pie, and on Friday we have fish and chips. Lots of people like to have our school dinners because they're delicious, but you're also allowed to bring your own packed lunch as long as there's no fizzy or energy drinks. I'm Will Thompson. I'm Charles Horn. I'm Holly Rolfe. I'm Adelaide Gawley. And I'm Lizzie Foley and we're all in Year 12 at St Catherine's Sixth Form. 
Um, I think that one thing that I've really loved about my experience at the school has been the school shows. So I know that me and Lizzie have both been in them since year seven, so how many is that? That's six, six school shows. So six school shows, things. yeah. And we've got another one to go, which will be our last one. But that's been a really great experience, hasn't it? You get it? to know loads of different people and it builds your confidence. It's been really great for making friends um, with people in the year above, especially, and making friends with students in the year below. So it feels really inclusive. It's been really great. I think it's really nice here because everyone just makes an effort to make it friendly and make you feel welcome and you, all the teachers and stuff, they're just really like welcoming and it, it's like a place, it's like home really and everyone's like a big family and it's just nice, it's really tight knit. I think as well as you progress through um, your school career that all the teachers like grow to become like more of your friends rather than teachers which helps you as, as you progress through school into sixth form. Yeah, I just, to agree with Charlie, I think you can have more discussions with your teachers and it's a more comfortable environment when you get to sixth form and you've got your own, your own um, block there, but it still feels like you're part of the school community, which I think is a, a massive thing for the school, especially the community and the environment that, that everyone's welcome and, and the layout of the school helps that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Even if the building is quite separate, it still feels like you're very much part of the school and you're very much part of that community like Will said so we've got our own building but you still have your lessons in the same classrooms that the other students do and it feels really lovely and inclusive.